Aloha, I'm Sean Kaliponi, and in this video, we're going on a hot pot food tour. We're eating at three locations. First stop, we are eating at Kogi Aina. Oh, it smells so good. I'm totally getting my $21 for All for us, and it's only round one. And there's just a whole lot of meats, veggies, seafood, all into this hot pot. We are here at Auntie's Hot Pot House, and I smell the broth right when I walk in. That looks very thin and fine. How this works is that you get to choose your own broth first, which is $2 for the base of soup. It is a little spicy. We are here at our final stop at the Hawaii Hot Pot Shabu Shabu House. This is like a rotating hot pot. Kind of like if you go to a sushi place and the sushi rotates around. This is all you can eat dinner and adults are $34.99. Are you ready for some steamy, delicious hot pot? Because I am. Let's go. But before we go, can you hit that like and subscribe button? I'll be your best friend. Okay, now we can go. First stop is in my beautiful hometown of Kanyohe, and we are eating at Kogi Aina. It's a little rainy right now, but even more of a reason to have some hot pot. And I'm just letting you know the broth here is really Korean style. I want them to taste good. The locals love the hot pot here. It's a hidden gem, hole in the wall, a little hard to find. I have the address down below. And I think this place is worth checking out. Let's go. <laughs> How's it going? came because it's just open right now so there'll be more people this place is always busy every time I jog by I see a line outside so there'll be more people joining us Thomas the owner says regardless of the prices on the menu it costs only $21 for happy hour all-you-can-eat hot pot for happy hour it's $21 and everything is included correct so the only thing that's not included is basically our a la carte side. So the one that gets cooked in the back. But other than that, for the hot pot in general, it's all included. Yeah, it's pretty darn good. Okay. And it's $28 for after happy hour. Yeah, they have quite a bit of choices here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine choices of broth. They have all cream broth here. And you order the meat here at the table and all the veggies, noodles, and all side dishes in the fridge. In the meantime, while we're waiting for our meat, let's go check to see what they have in the fridge. The mussel, the seafood, crab, the pork sausage, a good selection of vegetables. And they keep stocking the fridge, so there's more to come and more food to enter my belly. Of course, I need some shrimp. I would like some fish. Lobster bowl. I am stacking up already. I love these. <laughs> okay, I'm excited already. Oh, and veggies. I love veggies. And they have all their special sauces here. Each good place has their own special sauce. Anyhow, our food is here and let's go back to the table. So this one's gonna be to show you how spicy. That one's gonna be the raging. This is why a lot of people love hot pot. It's such a great way to share a meal with friends and family. All for us, and it's only round one. one. Let's eat. Mm. Oh, it smells so good. We're gonna start from counterclockwise and or clockwise. Anyhow, we're gonna start from my right, and we're gonna start with the brisket. So we're gonna put that in right now. There you go. And now we're gonna have some of the fish here. And we're putting some of the veggies here. That was a lot of food we just put in. And that was even half of it. And right here, this is a pork loin. Ooh. And there's just a whole lot of meats, veggies, seafood, all into this hot pot. I am hungry and I wanna eat now. You ready? Two, three. I'm so hungry and this is really, really delicious. I can't believe we're getting all of this for only $21. It's mind blowing. Mind -blowing. I can see off the bat that the meats by itself is really good. Thin, more fine, it's awesome. For the meat selection, you can get chicken, pork belly, ribeye, 
cow tongue, pork loin, and prime biscuit. And here's the ribeye. Oh, that looks bright red. It's really great when you combine everything together and we're enjoying ourselves. Oh yeah, we are for sure. With the spicy broth and the extra hot sauces they have. We're gonna have some of the egg right here. We're just gonna have it by ourselves so we can tell you exactly what it tastes like. These are quite popular for the Vietnamese hot pot too. I usually put them in the Vietnamese hot pot and they are delicious. Look at a nicely cooked fresh boiled egg. Try something new when you come here. That is the most interesting meat selection on the menu. Beef tongue. Because not every day do I eat someone's tongue, but if they cook it right, I'm eating it. Nice, light, tender. And it's more chewy. Not as meaty. It doesn't have like a really rich meaty taste, but it's still pretty darn good. Now, let's try the fish. You ready? I am. Your eyes said that you're ready. I am ready. <laughs> The fish is fresh, the broth is spicy, and when you combine the two, it makes it that much better. Let's have the seafood right now. Super delicious lobster ball, steamy hot shrimps, and mussels. This is so cool, so you just put in the, the meat one by one like this. Wow, this smells so good. And I'm just letting you know the broth here is really Korean style. That everything you put in here, it goes out and it's flavorful. And the broth is so good. If you ask me, the real food is always seafood. It is so steamy. I already know a lot of the flavors from the broth is gonna sit on this shrimp. And it's gonna taste so good when I dip it into all the sauces too. Juices burst out into my mouth and I taste the value of this. $21, guys. Time to eat the lobster ball. If I was sitting with my family right now, I would scream out loud and say, It's so tasty. Oh man, the mussels, they're small in size, but large in taste. I wanted to show you guys some of that meat that was on that bamboo stick here. I want them to taste good. When you see this for the rest of the video, now you know where it's from. Let's eat up. That was a really good, tasty meatball. Holy, it's a lot of meat and some spices in it. In Street Fighter 2 arcade mode, round two. And round two is more vegetables because we ate a lot of meats and seafood and I'm not young like how I used to be where I could just eat all day, every day and I have no consequences. Make sure when you eat a lot, then you gotta have some form of exercise too, okay? We couldn't resist, we did get some more beef tongue because beef tongue sounds interesting, it looks interesting and it's good for the camera. This is round two and I'm totally getting my $21 worth. I think that we're gonna finish this up, eat up, and then we're gonna have some of the free ice. It's on the house, it comes with the meal, it's free, you can't complain. Let's eat. Let's just put the icing on the cake. Literally, this is only the first stop of this hot pot tour. Shirt's a little dirty, but it's not gonna spoil my mood. I had a great time eating here at Kogi Aina. Now, off to Auntie's hot pot in Kapule. Let's go. We are here at Auntie's Hot Pot House, located in Kapolei at the Kamakana Li'i Mall. And I was told nothing but great things here. That looks very thin and fine. The food is good, the service is good, and that you get a free big bowl of dessert. Let's go check it out together. Hello, how's it going? I can already smell the broth stirring. Ooh. And this place is pretty cool. And I smell the broth right when I walk in. It's in the kitchen and it comes all the way here and I wanted to travel right in my mouth. Let's eat. Whoa, well, may I ask, is this you? Yes. Boom. <laughs> Boom, right there, it looks just alike. This is everyone's auntie and she's explained the hot pot concept here. It's a hot pot in Taiwanese style. How this works is that you get to choose your own broth first which is $2 for the base of soup. I'm gonna get the beef base soup and they have three levels of spiciness, one, two, and three. 
I'm gonna be a man and do this just for the camera. We're gonna get level three. Oh, we can go up to level five. Oh, <laughs> I mean, I, I want more viewers, but I'm not wanting to uh, <laughs> die for you guys. Sorry. I do like you guys though, but not wanting to go that far. Yeah, I don't feel like dying today. Not today. And you get to choose your own protein. Beef brisket, ribeye, beef tongue, pork belly, pork shoulder, and wagyu beef, which is market price. Sounds expensive. Then after for step three, we get to choose our ingredients and go up there. So let's go do that. We also have 14 different type of dipping sauce. You can help yourself. All made within the house, and all these sauces are included within the meal. Ginger garlic sauce. Woo! And the one I'm definitely gonna get is the garlic butter. That is what I'm talking about. And also we give a share rice dessert and of the milk on the house. Oh, yeah. on the house. Back to step three, more ingredients. This is not mandatory, but they have everything labeled as far as the beef tendon ball, the fish cake, and they have the prices labeled too. The color of the plate indicates how much it costs. For instance, if it's a $7 plate, it's green, you look for the green plates. If it's a $6 plate, it's pink. You look for the pink plates. And if it's the most expensive one at $8, it's black. So you have the black plate. And guess what's on the black plate? Sea scallops, seafood, all the expensive stuff. I would take some invitation crab because I can eat invitation crab. I know I can't eat real crab, I don't want to risk it. No, I don't want to risk it. A real hot pot needs some vegetables, so I got some choice some. Char siu. And I have the mix of Vietnamese sausage and fish cake. Whew. Let's go. The dragon cucumber looks crazy. We got a couple more dishes on the house. Thank you, Auntie. This is the Auntie's Rolling Beef, which is a Taiwanese pancake rolled with beef. And this looks appetizing to say the very least. Over here, you get to individually select what you want. Things are individually priced and this is different. I can't wait to dive in. I got the beef tongue and the ribeye. I am hungry. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip my beef tongue into the soup. That looks very thin and fine. I just put in the ribeye slices and it's almost already done. We turn off the heat, now let's eat. This is exciting. But I'm not gonna lie, those spiciness uh, pieces are kind of scaring me right now. Oh, are you ready to eat? Wow, that looks red and spicy. Three, two, one. That's so meaty, the slices are thin, and the spiciness is kicking in right now. Oh, in a good way though, I can handle it. <laughs> Over here, it's so finely sliced, and you get to enjoy every single part of this in a healthy way too. The broth has a lot of beef taste. You can tell there's a lot of collagen in here. It is a little spicy. When I say I'm doing it for you guys, I got level three, which is one of the highest. Wakes you up for sure. And I also ordered the tonkatsu soup, which is the most popular, so we're gonna change it up. Now we're gonna add the other dishes here, and bam. And we're gonna put some of the char siu. We're gonna put the, the vegetables, the ribeye, which you've already seen, and the beef tongue. Look how thin these slices are. That looks so steamy. Take a look at this. Quite a big bowl, and I didn't think it would be that big because the broth cost only $2. I'm excited about the tonkatsu because that's one of their favorites here. Let's eat up. Having char siu and the broth makes it that much tastier, and I just like that soup concept here. The Taiwanese style, this is gonna be a thing for me now. It's healthy, so fine with the beef. The tonkatsu broth is very tasty, it's so creamy, and it's steaming. And I love how that soup flavor goes right onto the meats. 
Both broths were very good. Some of the best I've, I've had. This is their main appetizer, which is the giant fried pork chop. This is a Taiwanese pork chop, and this is with their homemade sauce. I want to see what it tastes like. Ooh! Oh, it makes for a heavenly taste that I've never eaten before. A lot of seasoning, a little bit of spiciness. Almost has like a chewy calamari taste towards it. If you don't like it, then we can't be friends, sorry. Toppings are homemade stir-fried onions and garlic. This is Auntie's rolling beef. It's a Taiwanese pancake that's rolled with beef inside with cucumber and poison sauce. This reminds me of the Vietnamese spring rolls, but it's in a pancake form and it's quite unique. And the hoisin sauce makes it sweet. This is the dragon cucumber. This is the most special cucumber I've ever had, probably ever will. Just take a look at it. Now let's see what it tastes like. That was pretty good. It was crunchy, and I didn't expect it to be this crunchy and this tasty. You wanna hear the crunch? Mm. And the cucumber is a little sour and spicy with the sauce. I think I got dragon breath from eating this dragon cucumber. Oh my, this is what I was here for. Shave ice, Taiwanese style. On the house, this is what you get after you eat your meals here, I gotta dive in. I like all the tofu on the top. That looks thick and creamy and the shave ice is right underneath. That was the softest, silkiest tofu, boba, and shave ice I've had. That went right through my throat with ease. See you, Belle. See you, Crystal. See you. See you. And I found a nice piece of jelly. And I found a nice piece. And I found a nice piece of jelly. This dessert is a winner, and I've never had shave ice like this. No shave ice comes close to being presented like this, and it makes for a great ending towards the night. I'll see you guys on the next place. We want to thank Auntie because she treated us today. It was unexpected. She's so sweet and she is the soup lady. That's some of the best soup we've had. And thank you very much. We are here at our final stop in Honolulu at the Hawaii Hot Pot Shabu Shabu House. And what's kind of cool is that they have a karaoke right upstairs that's connected to the Shabu Shabu House. Just to let you know, parking was a little confusing. There are no street parking, but there are some other options. You'll figure it out. Now enough of me talking, let's go inside and check it out. Let's go in. This is all you can eat dinner, and adults are $34.99. Drinks cost a dollar more, and you get 50% off appetizers and desserts. If you're taking too much food and you're not eating it, they will charge you a friendly price of $5, so keep that in mind. This is a hot pot buffet. So we picked two soup bases that we haven't had at Kogi Aina or at this hot pot. The coconut chicken and the Thai Dom Yum. And all the meats are included. This is the chicken, this is the lamb, bam, it's the pork belly, the ribeye beef, and these colors are popping. It's like a, this is like a rotating hot pot, kind of like if you go to a sushi place and the sushi rotates around, this rotates too, and it comes right to me. I can just grab it like this. And all the hot pot locations have their own sauce station. Garlic chili sauce right here, the yellow mustard, that is quite, Interesting. Let's just grab a bunch of nice sauces here. 
And they have these in the refrigerator right here. I want to see if I can grab some seafood. Yes, they have more seafood, veggies, sausages, tofu, and more good stuff in the refrigerator. And all the steam is popping and all this smells really good. If there was smell of vision you would know what I was talking about. And Ni will be joining us for the hot pot. The soup smells so delicious. I'm hungry. Let's see. Bam, right here. Man, they got a good variety of different noodles here. We just went straight for the most colorful meat, which is the ribeye. And man, that thing cooks quite quickly over here. Oh, wow. Without further ado, let's get going. That is a lot of meat. Very juicy and tasty. You make what you want, you mix whatever combinations you want together, especially with all these sauces. That looks really good with the meats and to add to our soup base. Let's get some lamb right now. It's 20 seconds, right? I think it's been 18 seconds, 19, 20. Boom, now we can dive in. I like the spicy soup way more. The only thing I know about the lamb is that it just tastes a little bit more on the juicy side, more flavorful. So far, so good. I like it. And we haven't even tried the pork belly yet. So I want to dive into that. Bam. Oh, we just put in the pork belly. Pork belly. Ooh, I want to try and do some of that. There's a lot of pork belly in the soup. I need to dive in too. It's uh, like squishy. This is way too fatty. Where you only taste the belly. Fat, fat, fat. This is our third hot pot place. And one thing I like over here is that they give you lots of meats. So I don't have to get up constantly and maybe ask the waiter. Pretty much what you want is here. If you want the meats is here. I don't have to wait or constantly get up. I like that they kind of leave you alone just to eat. I'm quite the opposite. Now we're gonna move on to the chicken because it's clean, pure, white chicken meat. The chicken is clean, very clean. Uh, if I was lifting weights and I had to prep my body for like competition, I'll be eating this kind of clean white chicken after my workouts. I like over here that everything is unlimited. Like, oh. Thank you. Unlimited. And speaking of unlimited, we just got more. Now it's time to eat some seafood. Lots of seafood, good quality, and good selection for the price. Oh, look at that. Oh man, if all of this is for me, sorry for all the steam that's added in. One of my favorites so far, the golden fish bowl. It's actually gold soup inside and it's creamy. These shrimps have been screaming for me to eat them. It looks big, but once you peel off everything, it's a good size. This is so tasty with the sauce. I can even just eat this by itself. I don't even need sauce. I must say, I really like the mussels in here. Oh my god, this is so good. Mm. There's a ton of flavors in there. I gotta try the fried ice cream tempura and fried cheesecake tempura. <laughs> Keep in mind that desserts are 50% off when you order the buffet, so I'm gonna take advantage. Now we have dessert. We have the fried ice cream tempura, the fried cheesecake tempura. $5, $5, $10 total. Let's try, shall we? That is quite different, but it works. Let's try the cheesecake. The cheesecake is really rich. It's tasty. It's about having fun. It's about trying new things. Yeah, we're both full and that is the end of the hot pot food tour. And I think it's safe to say that Kogi Aina had the best bang for your buck, especially during happy hour. Over here, 
at the Shabu Shabu house. We thought it was the most convenient. There's not a time limit. But overall, in my opinion, I like Auntie's Hot Pot the best. I mean, the broth was unbelievably good. I also love the appetizers and their boba shave ice was to die for. I hope this video helped you choose which hot pot place you want to visit. Let me know in the comment section down below. Like and subscribe to this channel if you like this video. Well, even if you didn't like it, like and subscribe anyhow. <laughs> well, I think you liked it because you stayed to the end. Here we are in Shibuya and I have to mention them because I know people are going to be in the comment section and say, how come you didn't add Shibuya to your hot pot food tour? Well, I will acknowledge that this is the most famous hot pot place in all of Oahu. But this channel is about checking out places that are lesser known, possible hidden gems. So there you go. People like to talk about our audio sometimes in our videos, but we can't help it. We film outside, it gets real busy, and man, we're rocking with the DJI mics, so we try our best. But before we can, right? But before we go, can you hit that like and subscribe button? I'll be your best friend. Okay, now we. Okay, never mind. I did it good. Enough.